my name is Alex Rueda, uh, and I've known Roberto and Luis for 25 years. So you've known them since they were kids? Yes. So can you describe them a little bit? Like, uh, you know, this is more just like giving us context to their personalities and, and you know. Uh, growing up, they, they were the, uh, they were my conscience, my Jiminy Cricket. Um, they, uh, they were great friends to have. You know, I, I always knew the twins uh, to be overweight. It, it, to them, it, it's, been a, it's been a lifelong uh, struggle. Uh, but, you know, looking back 25 years, um, they've been relentless in uh, fighting that, that battle. It, so it, it, you know, it, it never helped. I mean, uh, God knows in my house growing up, uh, you better not be on a diet because uh, no one around is going to help you. I mean, the food is just, it's great, uh, but from a health standpoint, it really doesn't do much for you. And their, you know, their home was pretty similar. So they, they struggled with it, uh, but they, uh, they never gave up. Remember, we can't even reach our toes. <laughs> you remember that? Oh, they're still put together, no? That actually kind of feels good. That feels great, actually. When I run, though, I just take off. Well, I don't either. But, I um, start off slow, so. But afterwards. Oh, yeah. In the shower. I'm in pain. <laughs> One of the things that Mexican people or Hispanic people have going for them is that they cook a lot at home. So you know what you're putting into your meats. You know what you're putting into that sandwich. You know what you're doing in that pozole. That's one of the things that we have. I mean, we were raised with a parent, always. Either my dad or my mom cooking at home. And the most important part is educating our culture. Yeah, okay, yeah, you're not, gonna, you're not gonna lose our culture by changing. I'm not saying never eat that, that, that carnita. I'm not saying to stop that. Maybe don't do it as often. And that's very important because our, our culture not only suffers from heart disease, we suffer from stroke, we suffer from uh, uh, high blood pressure, high cholesterol. Not only our, our culture, our own families. My dad has heart disease. Both our grandmothers passed away from a stroke. Uh, my mother has high blood pressure. You know, so we're ridden. We got all that, 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 that um, check marks on our list. So I was uh, born and raised uh, in the north side of Chicago, uh, first generation Mexican-American. Um, I grew up uh, in a traditional Mexican home. Uh, mom worked, dad worked. Uh, we were uh, at school, big, uh, babysitter, busy life. Um, got home, typical family dinner, Mexican family dinner, tortillas, arroz, frijoles. It's the same thing everybody probably eats that's Mexican-American. Um, you know, traditional diet, I guess. Um, you know, we didn't know anything else, so we assumed that that was normal.
being a nurse and knowing all the risk factors that our Hispanic community and our family are susceptible to, uh, we have to try to do our best so my children don't get to the point that my husband and Roberto uh, to the 300 and plus pounds um, and be more active, healthier, because he, when he went to the show, he did high high blood pressure. He was on the borderline to be a diabetic. Uh, uh, high blood pressure runs in his family, so we definitely don't want our kids to go down that road, uh, and we want to make sure that we're living the healthiest we can, uh, so that way we can live a long life with our kids in a healthier way. And this is what we're used to our whole entire life. Our, our, our mom, you know, if you guys were walking into my house right now, she'd be like, hey, un taco, mijo? Come on, let's have a taco. Or, or even if, like Louis said earlier, it was a salesman one time trying to sell rugs, and he ended up having a whole meal. Pretty funny, that's the way well, we all well, One of the hardest things for, for Hispanic people, and I can only speak about my family, um, do, do we know about diabetes? Do we know about heart disease? Do we know about high cholesterol and high blood pressure? Maybe not because when my parents were raised, whatever you had on, on your plate, you were grateful for because you didn't know when your next meal was coming. And, and I'm assuming that a lot of the people in my culture do that because, hey, that's not, the dentist could start out of the seal for what you have in front of you. And, and, and a lot of people don't think, okay, well, how many calories does this have? You know, is this is a lot of cholesterol in this? You know, you, you wanna eat what you have in front of you because a lot of the time, especially in, or my parents, you didn't know when that next meal was coming from. I'll be a hypocrite if I tell people, say, hey, don't go out and eat that. Because I know for a fact, majority, more than 60% of all people that go on a diet fail after two weeks due to the fact that they're restricted. They're restricted. Taking one step, just taking that one step is going to help. Taking that one step because it's genetics, it's in our blood, it's who we are that next step's gonna follow. That next step might not be easy, but you can take that second step and that second step's gonna lead to the third step. And next thing you know, like I said it on the show, next thing you know, you're walking a mile, then you're running a mile. We've implemented into our lifestyle being more active. Uh, we recently uh, just had a, uh, purchased the dog. So that way we could go out with our dog and take them for walks, going out with the kids, running, playing. It goes back to our, you know, with our parents. They were working one at night, one in the morning, uh, and really didn't have time to go out and have those active uh, lives, have an active lifestyle with like our parents they were always working, now we're doing it with our boys because we don't want to be home all the time, tired, uh, because of work. We want to kind of give our kids uh, and show our kids that we could work and go to school, but be active at the same time and stay healthy. I can bring the kids to the park and I can do the, the workout here by myself while they're playing, I'm keeping an eye on them and I'm getting my workout in. Find the time, you can do them in the basement, you can do them in the backyard, go to the park with your family, while they're having fun, you're working out, and uh, you get your two things done at once. how Latino culture is. Uh, it's eat, eat, eat. We celebrate when we're, um, uh, when we're happy. We, we, excuse me. we eat when we're happy, we eat when we're sad, we eat when, 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 uh, when we're hungry. Yeah, so. <laughs> and our parents enjoy feeding us and, and the culture, Latino, enjoys feeding their kids and, and their loved ones. You know, those salads and the runs and the weights and, 
and the burpees and, and all the stuff that we're doing, that equals that pozole, those barbecue ribs, those tacos at the end of the week. Because if not, then hey, we're just gonna put on more weight. And I'm gonna be back to where I was two years ago, and that was at 370 something pounds. And and I I I I can't. I won't, and I don't dare to do things like that anymore, so. The 99% rule, I mean, that's what I call it, is that those people, whether it's family, whether it's friends, either they will never ask you again, you know, like, hey, here's a slice of pizza, when they know you're training for a 5K, or when you're around, they may not say it, but they'll encourage you uh, in some way or another. Um, I know, like, when I used to train for certain events, uh, my mother was the same way like their family, you know, she cooked the traditional Mexican meals and then she'd kind of snicker when we would talk about how hey, we're training, I can't eat this, I can't eat that. But it only took that one time to put it out there. Um, and then the next meal, all of a sudden there's, uh, you know, there's uh, vegetables and salads and, you know, and you didn't, you didn't have to say anything else other than, hey, this is what I'm trying to do. And that's it. Um, I, I noticed you know, there's a mutual understanding there uh, because it is hard in our culture. It, it's very difficult, uh, especially with the foods that we eat. Um, you know, we, uh, we work hard. That, that's what we're known for. Um, the 99% rule is that we're very proud of that. Um, you know, 12, 16, 20 hour days, we'll, that doesn't even, we won't even flinch at that. Uh, but what I've seen is if you start with your family, um, just put it out there.